AFTV, well, <laughs> as your heart after that one. I mean, it was a great game, wasn't it? If you, even if for a yeah. neutral watching it, <laughs> at 2 1, was you thinking, oh my God, after all that work we put in, we're going to leave here with nothing? Yeah, I was thinking that, but at the same time, I was also still thinking how proud I was of the second half performance. Mm. Um, fair play to Mustafi for turning it around after he made that horrendous mistake. Um, the way that Hector played, first time back in a long time. Um, he didn't look like he'd been out, did he? Yeah, it was, uh, in the last 10, I thought he was starting to look like he was tiring and maybe mm. we could have made a change, but he ended up, you know, the right choice. Um, <laughs> I think that the um, second half substitution by Mikel Arteta was key mm. when he took Medza Ozil off and mm. brought Gwendozi on. I think at that point he said, this is not Ozil's game. You know, we need legs in there and we can counter them because we've still got the threat. I thought Lacazette, the only thing missing was a goal, but his work rate was phenomenal. Um, and listen, even Pepe causing problems. Every man really, really proud of that second and, half. Uh, there, there, there's a kid out there, 18, mm. Gabriel Martinelli. We saw, we saw him in the summer when, when in the preseason mm. and we were raving about him then. And he's followed it through and Lac Aubameyang's out. Mm free game ban and this guy's just slotted in and he's been awesome yeah what is it 10 goals 11 starts yeah. um you don't want to get too ahead of yourself and start saying he's the next greatest player in the world but, no, but right he's doing now, it on big stages is, now isn't he yeah he mm. is doing it and he's proven himself you know young lads new country new league and it's like he's playing on the streets of brazil mm. like it's just having fun and it's just so like the way that the fans respond to him, you can't help but love they him. love him already. He's a fan oh, favourite, isn't he? Mate, I, I just mm. hope that he can understand his song, you know, <laughs> and understand that we are singing about him and it is mm. nice. And it's, you know, I think he'll grasp that eventually. But mm. just the way that we performed in that second half, we didn't deserve to go away from here with nothing. Mm. We didn't because we were the better side, even with 10 men. Mm. I felt that we weathered the storm in the first 20 and it, we started to you know, yeah. impose ourselves a little bit. And then a silly error, you know, and this is the difference and this is the problems, mm. you know, why... Even the second goal, we, it looked like we kind of switched off for that a bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe there was a bit mm. of fatigue in there. Maybe there was yeah. that little bit of lapse of yeah. concentration. We just made a substitution a minute or so before mm. it as well with Rob Holding coming on. Um, so maybe that had something, but it was like, when that goal went in, all of a sudden it was like we clicked it up a gear. And we looked like the side with 11 and Chelsea mm. looked like the side with 10. And then when we equalised, it kind of role reversed again. We looked like the side that did mm. have the 10 and we were like, right, just get out of here with 2-2 two, two now. But mm. that kind of performance could do so much for the rest of this season. And it could do so much for Mikel Arteta. I mean, yeah. big morale booster for him. You know, it, all right, it's not a win, but 10 men. Lots of character, lots of fight. There's something there to build on, isn't there? There's a lot to build on. There's been a lot to build on since he's came in. Mm. You know, the Sheffield United performance is the one standout performance where you can go, wasn't great. Mm. But every other performance, even the one when we lost to Chelsea at the Emirates, you can pick parts of that where you go, really good. Man United, really good. You know, so many performances. And like I said, that could be one where you go at the end of the season, that was the turning point. And yeah, it ain't three points, and I know it's another draw, but given the circumstances, that's a big point, and that's a big morale booster for everybody. And we've got, what, a few days now to just relax, mm. go into a different competition, which kind of relaxes the mind a little bit as well with going into the FA Cup and out of the Premier League. And then, you know, we've got Burnley, and that's going to be another big test going up to there, because mm. you know what style they play. And then, um, and then we go into what is it? Two week break. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm I'm buzzing. I'm happy, man. And the fact that Chelsea fans are all moaning kind of <laughs> says everything, doesn't it? So, yeah, we move on, man.